Hi everyone, Andy at Trade Skills for You, and I'm here with Steve today. And today we're going to show you how to fasten a piece of metal conduit in between two fixed points that can't be moved. So, a solid piece of metal, how on earth do we fasten it in between there? Steve's going to show us. Okay, Andy. Here, as before, we could just slide this down, yeah. put the bush on. But unfortunately, at this, what we call a stop end box, which is already has a threaded spout. Mm. We can't just do that. This actually has to be threaded in and that's there. Sometimes you'll have a piece of equipment which cannot be moved right. and we need to do this. So how do we get round it like you've just correctly asked? The thing is we do what's called a running coupling. Okay. A running coupling and as the name suggests we will manufacture a piece of uh, thread here with a coupling that will actually move along uh, the conduit okay. okay and then we can lock it off so it can't move afterwards first things first then how then do we put a coupling on this threaded internal spout there uh, yeah. Okay, well what we need to make is a thing called a nipple. Now they can be bought, okay, but if you do go contracting, like I used to do, you had to make your own. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so what I've, what I've got here, Andrew, is a nipple I made earlier. Ah, uh, right, okay. Okay, and the way we do that is we take a piece of conduit, and basically, you just run a long thread with the uh, stock and die, okay? Yep. Beyond the length that you need it, roughly length of that is about two and a half centimetres, okay. something like that, okay? Uh, and you run beyond that, and then you just cut straight across. Okay. Once you've done that, it's very important that you then clean these edges, like, we did before. like you've done before, so you avoid damage to your cables okay. when they actually bring them in okay and that then is what's going to screw in this is what our coupling will actually run on to okay so the nipple goes inside the box here okay okay the thing to be you need to do here is have it approximately half and half you don't want a little bit there and because no. it would become a very weak spot or you run this all the way in with just a little bit of thread exposed. Okay. So I just spin that and it should just run nice and freely and I will tell you if you've not cut this properly and you've got a this will actually be eccentric when it goes on may point into the board out up it's got to be nice so we know that's nice and square don't we. Okay, so just double check. Yeah, I'm roughly half and half. What we will actually be doing is, uh, I'll use the other piece there. I will measure a length okay. from the box yeah. to just before the end of the nipple. Right. I will cut it down there. Okay, yeah. I will then thread this, the full length of a coupling Ah, yeah. plus two more threads. The reason why we have two more threads is that we use a lock nut or a lock ring ah, yes. and you will yes. see we use this to lock off, stop the coupling coming undone. Okay. Yeah. My personal preference is the lock ring. The reason being if you have the nut the edges catch on, could catch onto the surface behind the conduit. Right. If you use a lock ring which has a knurled edge yeah. for grip, it doesn't do that. Okay. okay. Okay, Andy. So as you can see, I have actually now threaded this. As you can see, it's quite an extensive amount of thread. Okay. It's approximately 39, 40 millimeters long. Yeah. To gauge it, if you put a mark from the end of the conduit, approximately 75 millimetres, yeah. when the end of your guide approaches that. Oh, when you're threading it, you mean? When you're threading it. Yeah. So this is the front part of the guide. Okay. Gets to that mark at 75 mil, you've cut the required amount yeah. of thread. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
The next thing we do, I have got here the lock ring and the coupler. Okay. Okay. So I just put this lock ring on. Okay, let's put the coupling on now, and this threads all the way down, approximately level with the end of our oh, cut yeah, piece yeah, of conduit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what we do now, if you offer this up, it will just slide in place oh, yeah. to the between the nipple and the accessory point that you want to fix it to. If you find that you may be oh, it's slightly too long, just wind the nipple in, yeah, or out a thread, it, yeah. you've got that tolerance on it, yeah. or if it's too big a gap, just wind it wind back. It, wind. That's why we make it the length it is, offers you a bit of yeah. tolerance in there. Tolerance. Okay, okay, we now offer this up to the piece there, so the nipple is in alignment with the, with the tube. And what we do, this is why it's called a running coupling, because we now run the actual coupling up onto the nipple. Okay, so it should engage. Okay, sometimes there may be a slight disparity. Okay, so I'm just going to use the gland pliers. And we just run it on. So the coupling. Now you may find that the nipple starts to turn. Okay. Okay. You may be able to get around it by putting your finger in there and just holding it. If it doesn't... With your gloves on, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, it was previously cleaned. Yeah. Okay. You can always hold it with, uh, yeah, with another pair hand. of grips like that. And that should hold it in place. And it should go on smoothly. Now this, everyone, is why it's very important that when you thread conduit, you keep it straight. Because if you don't, these do not run on true. And how far back do you take it then, just to get it nice? You run the coupling all the way up to the spout. Oh, right, okay, yeah. It goes all the way. Okay. I am now running the coupling. Well, the coupling should say has been run up. Nipped it up. We now run the lock ring up. Up to the back of the coupler, finger tight, get your grips or pliers and just nip it. Yeah, that's really good. And as you can see, it's a very firm. Now then Steve, previously section. you didn't have any threads showing, so no. I take it there's no way around that? No there isn't, that's one of the things that is accepted, however what you should do then is, because you've cut through the galvanised um, surface protection, yeah. you need to use some form of like galvanized spray just to spray over that just to, just to stop it sort of rusting, thing. particularly if it's in that kind of an atmosphere. That is fantastic, look at that. So it's solid, okay, not going anywhere. So there we go, how to connect between two fixed points using a running coupling. So thanks to Steve, and if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.